Hey guys, it's Andy, and I have another Fallout 4 info video for you guys. But before you guys get excited for new juicy information, don't bother, because I doubt anyone has any newly significant, incredible information about Fallout 4. Like I said in a previous video, we will most likely get credible information about Fallout 4 sometime next year, which I know will sound as a disappointment to some fans. Bethesda is currently is focusing or has been deeply focusing on it, Wolfenstein, The Evil Within, and to some extent, The Elder Scrolls Online. Even the VP Pete Hines told the very idea of revealing a new title this soon was unrealistic. However, keep your hopes up. That particular response is most likely rehearsed because they knew fans are clamoring for a new Fallout game. The first piece of news comes from K-Pop Stars, which claims that Fallout 4 will be released in the third quarter of 2015. Now I know that sounds like a long ways off, but bear with me. iDigital Times reported that Fallout 4, PS4, and Xbox One release dates to be in late 2015, and to be focused on the next-gen consoles. The article tells that Chris Avalon shared some information. One possibility is that San Francisco is to appear. Moreover, it tells that the setting will be extended to regions outside the US. Avalon also told there will be a lot of Fallout fans in Russia and they would like to feature the eerie stretch to appease fans overseas. In addition for PS4 players, Avalon told that you can share gameplay among friends for the PS4 version. Now take this info with a grain of salt. It is unusual that of all people Chris Avalon will tell this kind of information. Perhaps it was orchestrated by Bethesda to please fans and to increase the hype of the game. The so-called 2015 release will scare some fans, and if it, it and certain rumors are true, the game will be in development for about 5-7 to seven years. Now that we're still thinking about Chris Avalon, which I add is working for Obsidian, not Bethesda, but we can assume that there is a relationship between the two companies when it comes to Fallout. One can only see Fallout New Vegas to see the crew. Now then, Chris Avalon also adds that Obsidian is indeed interested to make another Fallout title if Bethesda permits it. Chris adds, and I quote, All the Fallout stuff is really up to Bethesda. While we would love to do another Fallout game, that is totally up to them, Avalon said. It can be implied that there could not be only one Fallout title being developed, but two. However, it is unlikely since the interview, Chris asserted that it was just a thought and no real development has been made. One thing is certain, however, is that Bethesda is secretly teasing the fan community by intentionally leaking insignificant information to raise the hype up to inevitably increase sales when Fallout 4 does come out. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Now that's all the information I have for you guys. Now before I end the video, I just want to inform whoever is watching this that this channel is in the process of developing indie films, the first of which is dubbed The Silhouette will be released on August 9th. I hope I don't come across as sucking up, but it probably is. Now with that out of the way, please like, favor, and subscribe if you're new. Till then, this is the video of the day.